Hello my soccer universe, you know, sometimes things fall into your lap and it all works out well and then you have to wait a whole lot of time until something good happens. Yeah, make, that doesn't make much sense this opening, but let me tell you, I'm wearing the title winning Milan jersey, the away jersey that they wore in, at Sassuolo when they clinched the 19th title and thanks to Idris, I can show you. that the set is now complete. And I want to tell you a story and we look at these two jerseys because I also got name sets for these. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. Now, first things first, uh, as much of a Milan fan I am and as many Milan shirts that I actually do have in my collection uh, up until now and technically I still don't have, I don't have for any season a complete set. For instance, for the 96-97 uh, season, I have the home and the way I'm missing the third and the fourth shirt, which were the red, uh, black and the red. The black one that looks, looks really cool, I have to say. For 98-99, probably my favorite title that Milan ever won, I'm missing the away jersey from that season. From the 0203, I have the away at the third, I'm missing the home jersey. Didn't like it all that, that much, but if I, if it would pop up I prob uh, for a reasonable price, I probably would get it. For 0910, yeah, I don't have the third jersey, or for the 0910, I have actually the Maldini home jersey that was actually worn on the last day of the 08 09 season, so you know, that's a little bit of a wobble. 11-12 is probably my favorite Milan season to kind of collect. I have the home away. I don't have half a third, but I have a whole track suit and a pullover for, for that. So that would be nice. For the 12-13, I'm missing the away jersey. And for the 19-20, I'm missing the away jersey and kind of this special fourth jersey, which is very similar to the home jersey. I did not intend on the title winning season to get the two jerseys. I always said, I do enjoy the away jersey. It has an interesting pattern in it. Uh, it is a little bit of an off color. And uh, so once they won the title, I had it there for re for, for reason price. I was about to get it. And recently I even put the sleeve patch on there and that was gonna be it or that was gonna be fine by me. I was then thinking, should I get a name set on the back? Still thinking about it. A uh, name set, I'm thinking either Ibrahimovic, because he broke a record in Rome, wearing exactly this jersey, or potentially Giroud, because he scored the two goals. But I was never a big fan of... The, I could appreciate them to a certain degree, but I would agree it's, they, they were not, not the prettiest Milan kids, the home and the, especially the third jersey, which was contentious, but I have to say with a name, names that it actually, I enjoyed watching it. And then shortly before Christmas, I just got a quick message. I, I remember I was uh, at work, it was in the middle of the World Cup, so my head was somewhere else. And it reset, I'm at a Puma store. Um, they're selling the home and the third jersey uh, from the Milan uh, season for 30. Do you want e either of these? I didn't ha even have to think about it. I said, of course, this is this is one of the... I, mean, I want to almost say it's my second most favorite tie title because it came so unexpected. Uh, and I said, of course, I want to get this. Um, and I said, uh, which, which one? I said, both. Even if it's a double, double XL, I'm going to get them. Because... Uh, I could not get them at uh, at this point anymore, and I was kind of looking into it uh, a little bit more for, for for the black than the home jersey. Said well, even even better, I can get them both for you. Uh, the second one uh, that the uh, the third of these comes for four forty five. <laughs> Super nice. Then I thought because I was already gathering a few jerseys, uh, or, or you know, I'm always way, waiting for Idris to get a few jerseys. Um, and remember, this is just before Christmas. I said maybe. I should try to put a name set on these. And then uh, early January, I had sourced two name sets that will look into it, ordered it from Football Authentica. And a, and a day later, the um, ransomware attack on the British Mail uh, happened. And then it became a waiting game. Waiting, 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 waiting for these two to arrive. And then I think mid-March, they were sent to Idris. Now, the other reason why I had them sent to Idris is because I wanted to have them applied professionally, A, and B, 
if I do this here in Austria, it costs me an arm and a leg, especially here in Linz. There is not really an option for that. Uh, or not a, re a reasonable, yes, I have a store, but for every item they charge you at least five, if not 10. So uh, applying these name sets who were not that cheap, I think they cost uh, all around the 20 euro, your market would, call, would have called, cost me another 20 to get them. Whereas Idris has, I think it's Espas Foot in Toulouse where he can do it for five uh, per name set. And I said, yeah, that's a good deal. And it's anyway at his place. So it's fine, of course. Now that they, it was waiting, it kind of was annoying for me and for him because he had all these shirts there and nothing's coming. And at a point I was even thinking, yeah, uh, it's too late now. It was all fine and it all worked out. And a few week, we, we weeks ago, he sent them to me. He even had them nicely rolled up so that no name sets gets damaged. So all good. I would say I'll show you the two jerseys one by one and then we look at them at a, as a collection. So. The first one is the home jersey, which you can see from the red color is the replica because the actual home jersey did not have this red, 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 red color, which really, really bugs me that the replica has an additional feature. And I always said, if I want to get this jersey, I would like to have it in the or, um, in the player version, which I may still get because um, why is it different? But you know, the striping, I actually don't mind the striping as much. What well, I do mind a little bit more is this side here. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. The striping, yeah, okay. Um, the one thing that I said is this is probably the closest that I will get to a red Milan jersey because uh, they have not re uh, they released really a red Milan jersey in a long time and I would love to have one. Who did I get on the back? Giroud. Of course, why Giroud? He scored the two goals in, in a derby that in the end were really important. Undeserved win. I'm readily admitting it. The undeserved win, but he scored the two, two goals. And that actually was what was the title. What I really like about it, if you see already, there's a little bit of glare. There's also some uh, this ace uh, striping in the uh, number e itself. It's really nicely applied. I'm very happy to have Giroud. Without Giroud, Milan would not have won the title. Now here you see already the font is a little bit odd. I mean, the R is completely off. The nine is a little bit, but you know, that's the Serie A font. But that's the home jersey. And here is the somewhat contentious third jersey from an infamous Puma line where they said, okay, the crest is not, uh, we don't need, need a crest, the name stays forever. Uh, now, most of these don't look all the, all the great. Um, I even think that the Milan one is kind of a little bit odd, but I think of all of these, I have to say the Milan one probably looks the best because the font is a little bit different, but it still looks kind of odd. Uh, but what makes it really look odd too, to me is, you know, that the crest is printed into the fabric and thanks to the star on top, it has kind of a Christmas sweater feel to me. Uh, this is absolutely, I, I always call this the Christmas sweater jer jersey. And the other thing that I think they should have gone full, full on it, this is what the whole range did wrong. What pops the most is of course the sponsor because the contrast between black and uh, black and white is bigger than between the black and the red. So if I w if, if it was me, I would have gone with the sponsor in the same color as the rest. Of course, Puma is also very much in the center. But I have to say, black with a little bit red, it actually doesn't look all that bad. It's not a great, it's not a great jersey. I find the template with all this taping a little bit in, interesting. But if we turn, turn around, I think this really sells the jersey for me is if you have the proper red name set and I have a Tonali here. Um, of course, Tonali. Uh, he... Someone who ch wants to go to Milan because he was a boy who old who, who fan will always write high to me and he played brilliant that season. Uh, I think with the red name set, this looks actually really, really, really cool. Um, I also have to say that at least they put the crest here on the back, but you know. It so yeah, the set is complete. We have the home, the away and the third. Quasi complete because for, for one match they wore this awful Neman th uh, fourth jer uh, jersey, which honestly, if they would have left out the white shoulders, I actually would have really liked that one. I was all right with the bottom, but on the top, it was just horrific. And so, yeah, 
technically I'm not done yet, but I have at least the main jer uh, jerseys. Now, what's missing to make it real nice is to put patches on both of these and maybe get a name set on this one here as well, but I have to see. But I'm actually quite pleased. Is it the prettiest Milan set? Uh, definitely not. It is a special one, of course it is, because you know, how often do you win the Scudetto, uh, especially after the times that Milan have been through. So, let me know what you think about these jerseys and uh, the set in, gen in general. I have to say, what's underappreciated of the entire set is are the goalkeeper kits. We had uh, the goalkeeper, the regular ones, worn with the um, home and the away jersey, had the same pattern as the... Um, home jersey but either in neon with a slight darker in or in black and gray which actually looks really cool but for me the one that takes the top is actually the goalkeeper jersey worn with the third jersey because it just takes the red and makes black over uh, so the AC Milan is in black so the, the red and the black are switched which makes for a I would say even better looking jersey and as I said I've always wanted to have a red Milan jersey however I do understand that they didn't issue a purely red one because the home jersey has so much red in there so yeah maybe that goalkeeper jersey might be my first goalkeeper jersey but Mike Menno is the other I mean he is the main reason I will always say that they won the title uh, next to Leao but Mike Menno was just and still is very much amazing in any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!